I still love David. With all my heart, I still love the man I made leave town. The ceremony is about to begin. Are you ready? Darling, would you uh, be a dear and hold on to it for me in case someone calls? <laughs> someone? You're married. And you've been heard. Now it's time to let these other people be heard. I know many of you are Christians, so I'm going to ask you to do the Christian thing and respect your neighbors just for a few moments. I want to welcome all of you to this celebration of love and commitment. I know that it's the first time that many of you have been to a ceremony like this. But at its heart, it's as simple as it is profound. These loving couples are here to celebrate and to consecrate a spiritual union. And it's by their love and the love of their higher power that they will be united here today. There are couples here today who have already lived as committed partners for years. And there are other couples who have only just found each other. But they're all loving couples, and all the glory and the triumph, and all the and Dorian doesn't look so good. And she's stuff. hoping David will show up and or frankly, do something to stop it. Well, where to, is he? Dive good into that particular pool to voicemail. Commit their love to a partner for life. David, it's Langston. They deserve a chance. Dorian's still in love with you. And it's that You're the one that she wants. That so get your butt down here to Angel here to Square before you lose her to another woman. Marriage is a promise. It's a promise between two people who love each other sincerely, who honor each other as individuals, and who choose to unite their lives one step at a time and live a future together. I love In this you. ceremony, these loving couples what? will dedicate themselves to the happiness and well-being of each other and who are you looking for of mutual care oh, just my girls and mutual responsibility they're, they're right behind you and we rejoice oh. that among all the people in the world they find each David other. where are you and that henceforth they will find a richness and a he deeper looks meaning in human life he Why? is because they the person he loves to share the way each other it sucks. You will each exchange your own special vows, unique to your lives and the future that you pledge to each other. But for now, if you have rings, please take them out. And as you exchange the rings, I will pronounce you partners. Wait. I can't, I can't do this. What's wrong? I can't marry you. Kyle, it's, it's just a symbolic thing. Yeah, the Dorian Lord will make legal if she gets elected. We'd be married. And would that be so bad? You said you loved me. We've never said that, but I do. Kyle, I love you. I'm sorry, Nick. I don't love you. I, I want to... Someday, I, I want to marry the man that I love. I just hope I get that chance. I know I said that it's over between us. But here I am at a wedding in a tux, surrounded by all of these people who are just proudly sharing their love with one another. And I just keep thinking 
And I'm standing with the wrong man because all I want to do is share my love with you. So what do you think? You want to give it another shot? I do. Love you, Oliver. Always have. I'm, I'm sorry. Please go ahead. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? You can still get married. Mary Fish. Ooh. My favorite. Thank you. Good Lord. What's Roxanne doing there? You two guys love each other. Come on, seal the deal. Not what you want, is it? No, not like this. And we should probably go on a date first. <laughs> probably so. All righty then. Okay, Reverend. You're on. For thousands of years, lovers have exchanged rings as a token of their vows. The rings say that uh, even in your uniqueness, you've chosen to be bound together, that your love has a substance as well as a soul, a present as well as a past. What do you say, you and I, we go upstairs and we heat it up, mm -hmm. shall we? And that despite its occasional time. sorrow, love continues to be a circle for of for the barricades if your heart's not in it. Delight. I've said I'm gay. It won't go away. I'm here to stay. I have a message from Dory. Message one. David, it's Langston. Dorian's still in love with you. You're the one that she wants. So get your butt down here to Angel Square before you lose her to another woman. Pardon me, sir, but I have a message from Landview. My cousin Nigel suggests you turn on the telly immediately. Okay. To what? The international news is carrying it. All right. All right. What, what, what is the it? What's the it we're referring to? Now, as I join these couples in holy matrimony in the sight of God and oh in the sight of this community, I hope that all loving couples will hold each other in a kind of tender reverence. We'll honor love in all its forms. Because love will not be denied just because someone thinks you don't have a right to it. And those who have the courage to risk their love never lose. Even when they feel betrayed and lost, even when it feels futile, love has a way of reigniting and reanimating our lives, of surfacing at a time when we least expect it, especially in people who only needed a chance to show you you could shine. Love is our pulse, our breath. And no matter who you find yourselves in love with, it's always a gift. So cherish and celebrate your love as couples and as partners for life. You may kiss your spouse. Try it. 